Well, you're about to meet an internationally renowned artist. Michael Sherrill was born and raised right here in Charlotte, and his work often shows up in museums. This blue and white leaf plant sculpture is sought after right now by museums and galleries around the world. The artist's inspiration is Mother Nature, and Carolina Impact producer John Branscombe gives us an up-close look at his creations. A lot of my pieces come to me like seeds. If they get caught in my teeth long enough, I'll, I'll, I'll pick it out and start to respond to this idea that comes through my head. And, and I love that when it happens. My name is Michael Sherrill, and I, I'm a maker of things out of material. My dad had a machine shop in, of all places, Charlotte, North Carolina. I had an older brother who was an artist. So between those two people, I saw making going on a lot. I started really young, but I mean, in junior high was the first time I really had a chance to, to throw uh, clay on a potter's wheel. And uh, I took to it naturally. I know that I'm a three-dimensional thinker, and, and, I, and that t tantalizes me. As a person who likes adventure, I'm always looking a little bit over the, the, the edge, the horizon, thinking, you know, what next? What, what next can I do with this? And so all this ability or skill eventually got to the point that I wasn't making things for people to eat and drink out of, but I was making things for people to entertain their eye and to engage them visually. And that's when I realized that I'm no longer just a craftsman, I'm really approaching what, what I consider to be art. In fact, I call myself a material-based artist, which means that the expression of my art is through that sense of materiality. I'm the creator of a little company called Mud Tools, and they're sold all over the world to potters and sculptors. It came out of my own practice, because I would, I would work and not have the right tool, so I would create a tool for that need, and it's, it's one of the nice pleasures is to have my pot, potting acquaintances, whoever they are, the sculptors or potters, say, you know, I couldn't make it without that, that tool. That tool right there has changed the way I work. I think everybody can be creative, I honestly do. You're, you're playing and you're kind of imagining in my head what kind of shapes I need, like all these components, because, uh, you know, a piece could have 200, 300 components in it. Well, what I'm doing is I'm taking clay and, and making like a gobstopper, layers upon layers of color. So I'm like sawing boards like out of a tree and the linear line is what I'm interested in. Well, I see a plant year after year and see it change and see things going on. Those become pretty powerful things for me. There's a kind of personal, but it works its way into the work. Being here in the studio, being able to roll up my big door and, and see the natural world is a big part of, of me taking my breaks and going out into the yard and, and when I've been working a long day and just drinking in what the natural world has to offer. That just became a bigger, slowly but surely, a bigger part of my, my source. It's like the spring that I was drinking from. And I love for people to, to think about my work and look at the natural world and, and being observant again, being aware of what the natural world has, which to me is, is a restorative. Thanks so much, John. Michael Sherrill's exhibit is at the Mint Museum in Uptown Charlotte and will run through April 7th. From here, the exhibit goes on tour to the Renwick Gallery at the Smithsonian American Art Museum and Arizona State University's Art Museum. Well, the odds of a high school